Good morning, most venerable Bantis. Good morning, distinguished guests. We're going to start in about five minutes. Um, we're still registering lay people downstairs, so we'll give the process a little longer. And then I'll be introducing the director of the Mangalam Center, Jack Petranka, who will make a brief introduction. So please take your seats. We won't be long before we start. Thank you. So everyone, please be seated. I'd like, to, I'd like to start our fourth gathering here in Berkeley by inviting Jack Petranka, who is director of the Mangalam Center, to make a brief introduction. So if I may, I'll hand the microphone over to him. Thank you, Richard. Um, members of the Venerable Mahasanga, we're so deeply honored to have you here for this fourth Tipitaka chant. Um, it's a wonderful occasion for us, and it goes very directly to the mission that we have at Mangalam, and it's a very profound and, and rich way to help fulfill the vision of our founder, uh, Venerable Lama Tartangtoku. This is the fourth year of the, of the gathering, and every year it's an occasion for the people in our community and, of course, for the lay people uh, to gather together and uh, reflect on the great good fortune that we have in being able to hear the teachings of the Buddha and to put them into practice for ourselves so that we can ourselves deepen our understanding and appreciation and strengthen our resolve to work for the benefit of all beings. When we were on the walk today from the Nyingma Institute here to the Mangalam Research Center, uh, it struck me that there's something symbolically very rich about that. Uh, you as the carriers of this tradition of wisdom and compassion and understanding passing through a university campus in which all of the knowledge of the Western world is represented, the sciences, the humanities, all of the different fields of knowledge, people coming together to express those. And simply by your presence in moving through the campus, you bring the blessings and the possibility of a real dialogue between Buddhism and the pro most profound understanding of the West, you bring the possibility for that dialogue one step closer as you move through the campus. So it's really a special occasion. And I'm sure that the time that we spend here uh, in these next three days will also be special for everyone involved. Uh, I am deeply honored that we can host you here. Uh, I hope that we'll be able to 
provide for all of your needs. And um, in concluding, let me thank Wamo and Richard Dixie as the organizers on behalf of the Light of Buddha Dharma Foundation for making this, this gathering possible year after year, putting in the tremendous effort that it takes. And let me thank also the volunteers who, who cooperate and the Nyingma Institute who are also an important element and Dharma College where you'll be later today. So, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Jack. Um, now we begin our event. Um, I'm gonna hand over to Wang Mo who will introduce the next uh, activity. Most respected Venerable Mahasangha, we would take this great opportunity to request the most senior Venerables from each country present here to light the candle. And on behalf of the most senior Venerable from Thailand, we have with us the President of the Thai Bhikkhu Council of the United States, the Most Venerable Pra Deb Bodhi Vided. May we request if he could please begin the ceremony by lighting the first candle. We would now thank you so much, Most Venerable Pra Deb Bodhi Videt. We would like to request the Vice President of the Thai Bhikkhu Council in the United States, the Most Venerable Pra Raj Dhamma Videt. Thank you so much. He's also the abbot of Wat Buddha Son in Fremont. Now we would request on behalf of Sri Lanka, the most venerable Bhante Uparatana from Washington, D.C. It is an honor <coughs> to request, on behalf of the Myanmar Mahasangha, the Most Venerable U Teja Vanta Yadana Nin Yong Temple in California to bless us with a candle lighting. On behalf of the International 
Buddhist Association of America. We are honored to have our chairman, Pra Vidi Ratanapurn, to please light the candle. We are honored to have, on behalf of the Chinese Mahayana Buddhism, Master Zen Yu to please light the candle. Thank you. On behalf of Laos, we would request the Venerable Pon Ni Tse to please come up and light the candle. Thank you. On behalf of Tibet, we would ask for Venerable Tsangsar Tuku and Tsangsar Tuku to please come up and light the candle. On behalf of Cambodia, Venerable Bun Tan Ong to please come up and light the candle. On behalf of Bangladesh, may we ask the most venerable to please come to light the candle. And on behalf of the international bhikkhuni, we would ask for Os Venerable Sunim from Korea. Thank you. At this moment, we would request for the opportunity to have a two to three minute blessing from each of these respected venerables. So we would recall that on behalf of Thailand, we would request for the most venerable Pradeb Bodhivided the president of the Thai Bhikkhu Sangha Council, to please give us a blessing.
Uh, we will first begin, those of you who would like to take the five precepts, to begin this auspicious occasion. We have this opportunity to take the five precepts, and we will have that by the most venerable from Praraj Dam Vid, the Vice President of the Council of Thai Bhikkhu. We will ask Kun Prasern to request for the Most Venerables to give us the five precepts. Some of you may have a handout of the Panchasika Samadana. Please be attentive. Mayang Pante, the Serene Nasaha Panja, Sila Niyaja, Ma, Tuti Yambi, Mayang Pante, the Serene Nasaha Panja, Sila Niyaja, Ma, Tati Yambi, Mayang Pante, the Serene Nasaha Panja, Sila Niyaja, Ma, Namo Tatsa. Pakawato Arahato Sama Samputatsa Namu Tatsa Pakawato Arahato Sama Samputatsa Namu Tatsa Pakawato Arahato Sama Samputatsa Namu Tatsa Pakawato Arahato Sama Samputatsa Namo tassa pakawato arahato samma samputtasa. Namo tassa pakawato arahato samma samputtasa. Puttang saranang kachami. Puttang saranang kachami. Thammang saranang kachami. Thammang saranang kachami. Sangkang saranang kachami. Sangkang saranang kachami. Tutiyampi puttang saranang kachami. Tutiyampi puttang saranang kachami. Tutiyampi thammang saranang kachami. Tutiyampi thammang saranang kachami. Tutiyampi sangkang saranang kachami. Tutiyampi sangkang saranang kachami. Tutiyampi puttang saranang kachami. Tutiyampi puttang saranang kachami. Tutiyampi thammang saranang kachami. Tutiyampi thammang saranang kachami. Tutiyampi sangkang saranang kachami. Tatiyampi sangkang saranang kachami Ti sarana kamanang nitittang Ama pante Pa na tipata Vera mani Sikha patang samatiyami Pa na tipata Vera mani Sikha patang samatiyami A tinna ta na Vera-mani Sikha-pa-thang-samadhi-yami A-thin-na-tha-na Vera-mani Sikha-pa-thang-samadhi-yami Ka-me-su-mit-cha-cha-ra Vera-mani Sikha-pa-thang-samadhi-yami Kami sumitcha jara we ramani sikha prathang samadhiyami Muksa vata we ramani sikha prathang samadhiyami Muksa vata we ramani sikha prathang samadhiyami Sukra me raya matcha Pamatathana Veramani Sikhapathang Samadhiyami Surame Rayamacha Pamatathana Veramani Sikhapathang Samadhiyami Imani Pancha Sikhapathani 
สีเลนะสุขติงยันตีสีเลนะผู้ขัสมปทานสีเลนะนิพุติงยันตีตัดสมาสีลังวิโสทะเยสาธุสาธุสาธุมอสุลบูมหาสังกัดเลดี้แอนจันเดแมนออนวิฮาบอเดอร์เคาซิลออฟไทปิงคูอินยูเอซีไอวูไลทูแทงจูมิสบังโมดิกซิมูอิสดิริกินแอนดิวเทดเฮอร์ไลฟ์ฟอร์บุตตาทิชิงแอมเวอรี่แฮปปี้ทูแฮมเป็นประชุนิตีทูจอยเดอะฟอร์ดอินเตอร์เนชั่นแนลทิปตะการชันติงเฮลอินเดอะสเปกชันเอ็กโอเคชันออฟเดอะเอ็ดทรีเยียร์เบอร์เดย์ออฟมอสบอนตะตังวัดเอ่อวัดตะตังทูทูตันตันกูเรมโคเชเบลีฮาร์ฟอร์มิทูลิตาพิสิกแคนอสเอ็กซิตออนเดอะเบิร์ตออนดิสเดอะเอิร์ตวิสอัลเดอะแพรกติดแอนเทลินทูบีเทลินบีมัสนอตอัลลาวลงก์แอนพิลพิลสลีทูพี Will on our mind, the Buddha says, no enemy can harm one so much as one's own thought of the letting head and hindlessly. The woe is like the minor. m i l e r and if you look at the m i l e r with the smile face, you can see your own beautiful smiling face. On the other hand, if you look at it with the long face, you will be uh, invalid. Invalid. See. A g l i n e s s smiling. If you treat the w o l highly, you would, you, the w o l will be also uh, uh, secretly treated on highly. Learn to peaceful with yourself, and the w o l will. Also, be peaceful with you. If you are to have peace in our world, each of us has to start by developing 
in the field in the field. Otherwise there will be no true no true peace in the world and the thing that ensure we have inner peace. Peace in the other heart is the unselfish ceremony about the welfare of other people. In fact, we need to have loving kindness. What we the Buddhist call metta or all living thing. Thank you. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you so much, most venerable. Now we would like to request the most venerable Bhante Uparatana from Sri Lanka originally, who lives in Washington, D.C., who is also the chairman of the International Buddhist Association of America. Dear Venerable Mahasangha, Bhikkhuni and Bhikkhu, and uh, well wishers and friends who came gathering here. And uh, this is a very good time to learn the Dhamma, teach the Dhamma. And uh, one who need to see the Buddha, we all want to see the Buddha. If you want to see the Buddha, learn the Dhamma. When you learn the Dhamma, you can see the real Buddha. So that's the great thing. Someone who can see the Buddha, that world can be bring the peace and happiness. That's the thing we need for this world today. And uh, for that purpose, one more Dixie and Richard Dixie, and uh, uh, Mangalam Institute and other friends, and they are organizing very well the support uh, uh, Dhamma chanting. Uh, there's a, not only chanting, we can learn more, many more things. So for the world peace, today is economically, environmentally, politically, all the problems going on in the world. If someone knows the Buddhist, Buddha's teaching well, that all the problems can be dissolved. So uh, we have to, our responsibility, our institute responsibility to teach the peace of the world and no matter the Theravada, Mahayana, Vajrayana, no matter what, there's a Dhamma, it's a Dhamma, we have to spread the Dhamma. One time, the Buddha mentioned to Nigrodha, I do not teach the Dhamma to get disciples. Let him, who is your teacher, remain your teacher. I do not teach the Dhamma asking you to abandon your rules. Let your rules remain as they are. I do not teach the Dhamma asking you to abandon your way of life. Let your way of life remaining as it was. I do not teach the Dhamma to encourage you to do uh, wrong things. Let those things you consider wrong continue to be so Considerate. I do not teach the Dhamma to draw you away from things that according to your teaching are good. Let whatever you consider right continue to be so considerate. I do not teach Dhamma for those are reasons. However, there are unwholesome things conductive to sorrow, lamentation, pain, 
grief and distress. It is for the abandonment of these things that I teach the Dhamma. If you practice practice practices accordingly, those unwholesome things will be abandoned and the things that make for purification of your mind will develop and grow and you will attain to the and will in this very life by your own insight and realization in the fullness of practiced wisdom. So that's the purpose we all chanting, power of this chanting, may the whole universe bring the peace and happiness. May you all have happy and peaceful life. Thank you. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Now we would like to request on behalf of Myanmar, Dr. Dhamma Pia of the Metta Nanda Temple in California to please come up and deliver a speech blessing. Good morning, Venerable Mahasangha, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, brother and sister in the Dharma, and the ladies and gentlemen. I'm in great honor to be here to deliver welcome speech in this morning. I'm so glad to see all the Venerable Sangha from the different schools and different countries as well as to see all the members of Buddhist community in this auspicious occasion. I feel so great that I would like to thank you all and I would like to give you a credit to those who organized this Tibetaka chanting ceremony. I recall the past and I remember a Bali phrase that is Adita Satukam Pawajanam Nati no Sada. This is a historical background for this chanting, uh, this Bali phrase. During the time of the Lord Buddha, when the Buddha was about to pass away, Venerable Ananda feel very sad and worried a lot. Very soon, my great teacher will enter my Brinibana, I'm in Sri Sodabana. Knowing this, the Lord Buddha said to Venerable Ananda, Ananda, it may be that you will think the teacher's instruction has ceased. Is it now you have no teacher? Ananda, you should not think, you should not be seen like this because I already taught the Dharma for 45 years. And then the, for what? I taught to you or explained to you as a Dhamma Vinaya. This Dhamma Vinaya will, at my passing, be your teacher. In this context of Dhamma Vinaya, Dhamma means teaching of the Lord Buddha, which refer to Abhidhamma Pitaka and in Sudanda Pitaka. Vinaya means discipline, which refer to Vinaya Pitaka. Vinaya Pitaka teaches 
how to understand the monastery code and the rules and regulation. Abhidharma Bhidaka explains how to understand the four noble, the four ultimate realities and the theory of non-self. Sudanda explains how to live in life and how to practice in daily life and how to establish one's own goal, that is to attain nirvana, how to attain nirvana. Last but not least, this Tipika chanting ceremony is so significant and benefited to all. May the blessing of Tipika chanting bring the peace to the world. Thank you. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Now we would like to request the most venerable Pravidi Ratana Porn, who is also our chairman of International Buddhist Association of America, to please come up and give us a blessing speech. Most Venerable Mahasankha and the Most uh, Venerable Pra Te Putivite, the President of the, the Council of the Thai Pikus in the United States of America, Buddhist missionary monks who serve in the United States and abroad, and the <coughs> laymen and laywomen and um, Pikuni Sankha. And also, uh, Ms. Wang Mo and Richard Dixie, the ship organizer, and uh, everybody who joined this the sacred ceremony, the Tibetika chanting. This is the fourth annual Tibetika chanting in the West Coast. Um, <clears throat> I'm very happy to see all of you to present, especially representative from different countries, Buddhist country, and also we walk through the uh, Berkeley University to show the harmony, to show the unity of Buddhists. We practice according to Buddha teaching to learn how to live together, not to separate, not to uh, divide into group. So Manklam Research Center is the, the heart of uh, Buddhist study in this area. And we get together here to learn the Buddha teaching by the chant, the words of the Buddha, as the most venerable from representative from Myanmar just mentioned. Tamoja, Vinayoja, Tesito, Panyato, that means that the Buddha, he laid the rule and regulation for us. And if we practice according to his teaching and practice as the rule that he laid up for us. So one day we reach the final goal, that is the real and the ultimate happiness in our life. So we try to get to that goal. So I'd like to thank um, Ms. Wang Mo Dixie also 
who is our president of the IBAA, the International Buddhist Association of America. It's quite a new organization established in 2014. And then we try to connect, conclude every jhana, every practitioner to learn the Buddha Dhamma together in order to protect, preserve, and promote Buddhism for human beings without boundary, without limitation, non-sectarian. So we get together here because of that. And we will try to get the real happiness in this life. So congratulations for uh, the uh, Mangkalam Center to have this good opportunity, good um, activity that open the door, open heart to receive all kind of people to come and practice the Dhamma together. Thank you very much. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you so much. On behalf of Chinese Mahayana Buddhism, we have here um, Master Zen Yu, who has also joined us on behalf of International Buddhist Association of America. So we would request him to give a blessing speech as well. Venerable Mahasangha, honorable guests, and fellow Buddhists. We, under Buddhayana, we have the same teacher, the Buddha. We follow the Dharma, the teachings of the Buddha. And we, the ones that dedicate our lives to the teachings of the Buddha, the Sangha. We have the great opportunity to gather here today in this auspicious time, on this auspicious land. We would like to thank the efforts of Sir Dixie, uh, Sir Richard, Dixie, Sir Richard Dixie, Wamo Dixie, the directors, the countless efforts of individuals that made this happen. We thank you. Today, we are facing ever challenging times. Uh, we are facing the retribution of the earth, and also man-made disasters caused by human error. And under the teachings of the Buddha, we know we have no one to blame but ourselves. These happen to us because we have a common and collective karma. We, the Mahasanghas, today walked in silence as half Buddha has been before, walked in India for 49 years in spreading the Dharma. We know as we walk, any sentient beings and all the sentient beings that saw us, that heard us, that smelled us, that felt us along this path, will be liberated. And we are here to install the seed of peace and harmony. So thank all the Mahasanghas that gather here today, all for the peace and prosperity and the harmony of human beings. 
Today we walked in silence, but everybody heard us loud and clear. Namo Buddhaya. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you. Now we would like to request for Venerable Pon Tsai of Laos to give a short blessing. Okay, so respect to all the Sangha that come together here in this hall. And <laughs> pretty much nothing much to uh, explain in the chatting in them, but we're very happy to be here and gather. And this is our, my first year here, so I'm kind of like nervous. So, but like I say, I'm very happy to see all the Sanghas here. and. Show them that just like he say, we walk quiet, please, but we were so loud. So hope to see this happening again next year. <laughs> Thank you. What's going on? Sadhu, Sadhu. Thank you so much. Now, on behalf of Tibet, we will request for both Sangsar Tuku and Lama Palzang to give a short blessing uh, in Tibetan, if possible. Short prayer. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you so much. On, on behalf of Cambodia, we would request Venerable Pun Tong Hong to please come up and give a short blessing speech. Good morning. <coughs> Dear most venerable monk, Pikutni, non Buddhist followers, and all Dharma friends, 
on behalf of Cambodian community in California, the United States. I would like to take this valuable opportunity to express my deep thanks to all most venerable Mahasangha, lay men, lay women, and all distinguished guests who come from various places in order to join the fourth international Tripitaka chanting ceremony in America, dedicated to world peace and inner harmony through chanting and practicing the teachings of the Buddha. As we have known, the international Tipitaka chanting are mostly held in India. But now we have it here too. So I think this ceremony is very special event to be celebrated in Berkeley, California, the United States. By celebrating this ceremony here, it can also spread message of the Buddha to many people because America is one of the country which has people from different nations and offer them great opportunity, justice, and freedom for all people, including religious practitioners like all of us. Therefore, after coming to take part in this special event and ceremony here, I wish all of us be happy and peaceful in mind and be also be able to propagate the teachings of the Buddha throughout the world for the benefits of full peace and harmony. Thank you very much. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you so very much. Now finally, we would like to request, on behalf of the international bhikkhuni community, Venerable Sobana Terry to please deliver a blessing speech. On behalf of the International uh, Bhikkhuni uh, Sangha, uh, first uh, we uh, express our appreciation and gratitude for the Bhikkhu Sangha, for their uh, support, their friendship, and for the uh, wonderful example that's given to us uh, by the uh, venerable uh, Bhikkhu mentors and teachers. Uh, we appreciate the fourfold Sangha and the presence here of uh, laymen, laywomen, bhikkhus, and bhikkhunis from so many different uh, cultural backgrounds and uh, different uh, corners of the Buddhist world. It's a great uh, thing when Buddhists uh, demonstrate mutual respect, mutual appreciation, cordiality, and kindness uh, across uh, so many uh, uh, different parts of the world, especially uh, speaking as a Westerner, uh, it's 
uh, so important for us to be in contact and a real connection with those who are the bearers of the living tradition that's come down to us uh, for more than 2,600 years from the Buddha himself. Uh, of course, uh, the Dhamma could be communicated by the internet, uh, but it's more effective when it's uh, communicated personally by the actual human uh, contact and human friendship. Uh, the way that uh, each one of us may exemplify uh, kindness, uh, non-harming, uh, compassion, and equanimity in the face of the challenges and difficulties in this world. So for all of those things, uh, we're grateful, and we just recognize how powerful it is uh, for this robe to be still existing at the time of so many uh, troubles and problems that we see in the world. It's true that uh, at the level of morality, to be kind, considerate, uh, non-harming, uh, gentle, all of those things are great. But uh, most of all, uh, we uh, embody uh, our uh, appreciation, respect, and dedication to the truth. Uh, we wouldn't, the troubles in the world arise from delusion and ignorance. And the way out are the way to um, ameliorate the troubles in our material world uh, comes as more and more people turn away from delusion and turn towards the truth. And so uh, I'm just grateful to have the chance uh, for the inspiration of this gathering so that we all can continue our work. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you so very much. Now we would like to begin with the recitation of the Mangala Sutta. Now those of you who have received a program will see on page six, you have the Pali and Roman script, and then also for those of you who would like to know the translation, on page seven and eight. We are honored to have the most venerable Fra Deb Bodhivided, who is our most senior venerable here, to lead us in the recitation of the Mangala Sutta. So may we turn <coughs> our minds and hearts to follow the Most Venerable uh, and begin now. May we also take this opportunity to sit together here and Keep in our hearts my father, dear, venerable Tartantuku Rinpoche, for without him, this would not be possible. So we keep him in our hearts and dedicate whatever merit we <coughs> will be accumulating in the next few days to his longevity and to the longevity of the Buddha Sasana here in the West and in the east. So now we begin with the chanting of the Mangala Sutta. Sarana Gajah 
รันตังกาสังมิตุติยังปิดธรรมปังสรันตังกาสังมิตุติยังปิดสังขังสรันตังกาสังมิตุติยังปิดพุทธังสรันตังกาสังมิตุติยังปิดธรรมปังสรันตังกาสสามิตัติยามติดสามดังสารนังกาชามิติปิโสภะคะวะอะระหะสัมมาสัมปุตตะเวชาจารณะสัมปันโนสุขะตัวโลกะวิตัวอันดวนตาลุเสียส
พันจะวินาโยวาจะสุดเสียงเจตวัตสุภาสิกาจะยาวาจะเอียตามมังกะลำบวชตามมังมาตาปิตุปุปันนังนังปวดตาตาราสัสังกาหัวหันนังคุณลาจะจำมันตาเอียตามันกะลำบวชตามมังตาณัญจะตามสุริยะใจยาตะการนัญจะสังกาหัวอันนาวะชาณิกรรมานิเอตามมังกะลำบวชตามังอาราเตียเวราติปาปามัญจะปานนัญจะสังยาโมหะปะมาตัวจะกาเมียสุเอตัมมันกะลำบุญกะมันคาระบุวชนิวัตตุสจัสสันตุตีจะกัตันยุตกาเลียนนักธรรมมาสวัสดิ์ทิตัมมันกะลำบุญตัมมันทันเทียจะสมพระจันทร์ตาสมณนันนันจะจัดสนานกาเลียนนักธรรมภาษาสังชาเยตัมมันกำลังบวชตัมมันตาบุจะปามมาจากริยานจะอาริยาสังจานนักธรรมสนานเทียมปานนักสังจิตเรียกจะเอียตามมันกำลังบุญกำมังจะกาดสันลวยกาดตามเมียยิจิตตามญาณสันนักปฏิอาสกกังวิราชเทียมมังเอียตามมังกำลังบวชตามมังเอียตามจิตสานิกาตวานัสปัตตะมปราชิตาสัมมาสัมเทสานิกิลังเตสัมมาคัลลังปวดตะมันตีภาวะตุสัพพะมันคัลลังรักขันตุสัพพะเทวะตาสัพพะปวดอานุภาเวนัสตาสุนทีภาวันตุเตภาวันตุสัพพะมันคัลลังรักขันตุสัพพะเทวะตาสัพพะธรรมานุภาเวนัสตาสุนทีภาวันตุเตภาวันตุสัพพะมันคัลลังรักขันตุสัพพะเทวะตาสัพพะสังฆานุภาเวนัสตาสุนทีภาวันตุเตเดียร์มอสต์เวนเนอร์เบิลมหาสังฆะรับสมาชิกเพื่อนร่วมธรรมะเดียร์บรัตเตอร์และสุสเตอร์ส์ข้าวเย็นนี้ที่เราได้รับมาอีกครั้งที่มังคลัมเซ็นเตอร์ส์ครั้งที่สองที่ร้องเรียนบทเรียนของพระองค์สมบูรณ์ของพระองค์After one year, we can see with our own eyes the so many changes and the terrible turbulence rising from country to country. Tensions are increasing all around the world from such uncertainty. 
It is truly a time for us to gather collectively and to pray for world peace and inner harmony. As the eldest daughter of Venerable Tartang Tuku, I can think of no other way than to dedicate whatever good deeds have been accumulated in my lifetime to his longevity and for the success of all Dharma activities to continue to unfold. It is truly a great miracle that we can see the West and the East meeting together in this prayer hall. And I thank all of you who have come from the Bay Area and especially those who have made the long trip from the East Coast and those who have also traveled from across the Pacific Ocean. There is something calling us to be together. This is our refuge, a place that we can call a home. To praise the Triple Gem through reciting the Buddha word and making offerings to the precious Mahasanga is truly a precious opportunity and one that we are deeply honored to be able to offer. We also have this great privilege to work in the motherland of the Dharma, the, uh, the land of the Arya Desha. And this year, for the first time, we will be offering prayer ceremonies within the Theravada tradition to all the ancient pilgrimage sites of northern India, and also inaugurating our first ceremony for the great Sangha of the Mahayana tradition at Vulture's Peak and in Nalanda. We are linking these ceremonies with a long-term program to offer retraining to Indian monks and to offer international trainings to groups of Indian novices. And we hope through these efforts, strong foundations for the growth of the Buddha Sasana will be laid once again in India and a new generation of Buddhist culture can begin. Many of you here have helped us with this core mission, and we thank you deeply for helping us there and being with us here today as we work to spread the blessings of the Buddha word to all regions of the world for the benefit of all beings. Now I would like to review our program for the next few days. Today we will break for lunch at 11, and then we will start our first session of the chanting led by the Thai Mahasangha, starting at 1 p.m. After a break for tea at 3, the second session will start at 3.30, led by the Sri Lankan Mahasangha. And all of you are invited to this evening's Dharma talk by Venerable Ajahn Pasano, who many of us know from Abhigiri Monastery. And he will be giving a talk at Dharma College at 6.30 on the topic of <coughs> living a noble life, heart advice from the Ajahn Chah tradition. And tomorrow we will start our chanting together at 9 in this hall, led by the Myanmar Sangha, having lunch at 11, and recommencing at 1 p.m., led by the Lao Sangha, and break again for tea at 3, and then start our final session at 3.30, led by the Cambodian Mahasangha. Again, we are deeply privileged to have a Sayadaw from Myanmar who resides in Minnesota, Sayadaw U Tsetsana, 
who will be giving a talk at Dharma College tomorrow evening at 6.30 on the topic of Knowing Your Own Mind, Insights from Abhidhamma. Finally, on Sunday, we will start our chanting at 9, led by the international Bhikkhuni Sangha. We'll break at 11 and hold our first chanting session at 1 by the Sri Lankan Mahasangha. Following our break for tea, there will be a final closing session with a guided meditation led by Ajahn Tanat Prakru Siri Vited at 3.30. And then finally we will have a group photograph and handing out of certificates and Sangadana. All of these details can be found in the program brochure, which I hope that you can have in your hand. If any of you need the chanting books, they can be found at the front of the hall. Finally, I would like to just say my gratitude to Jack Petranker from Mangalam Centers for hosting us this year again, and to Nyingma Institute, who we uh, first started our silent peace walk, my sister Pema Gelik in Lama Palzang, for hosting us there. And then to my dear husband, Richard Dixie, for supporting the program all along. And of course, to Rinpoche, who we cannot say enough of our gratitude of why we are here today as his daughter. And so many of us here are his students. So we are so grateful that the great Mahasanga have gathered here from all directions to pray for his longevity and for us to come back together, reunited under one umbrella of the Triple Gem. So thank you again. Now we will begin the offering of the bowls to the Mahasanga, and we will invite the most elder to start <coughs> the procession to go downstairs for lunch. Lunch is exactly 11 o'clock, so we're on good time. And the monks and nuns will have their lunch first. And for those lay people, during this hour, you're welcome to sit in here, or you can walk around and come back for lunch at around 12.05. And the monks will be going to Dharma College for a little break while um, Upasikas can have their lunch. So this is very special opportunity to offer something into the bowl. And those of you who would like to participate in this offering of the food for today, you're welcome to go downstairs uh, in advance. Um, actually, uh, let the monks go first and then afterwards um, you can help to serve, those of you who would like to do that. It's a very auspicious opportunity to do so. Thank you, and this concludes the morning session. Now we would request the most venerable to lead in the procession downstairs for lunch offering. Yes. Those of you who would like to prepare a little bit of the rice offering may go downstairs now in advance, those lay devotees if you would like to offer just a spoonful of rice into the bowls of these great monks, please welcome downstairs in advance before they make their way downstairs. If you have any questions for the lay devotees, 
You're welcome to ask anyone at the registration desk. You can come and find us. We're very available to answer any of your questions, and we're very happy to have you here.